Adriana, how old are you? Um, this year I'm going to be 11, so my age is going to be 11 years old. So when are you turning 11? Uh, uh, this Which year, October, October. Oh, right. my birthday. Mm -hmm. So you're, you're still 10 then. For, for quite a few months, you're still going to be 10, yes? Yeah. Okay, awesome. Do you have um, brothers and sisters? Like how many of you kids in the family? Um, I only have one brother. Okay, is he older or younger? Older. Is he nice to you? Yes. Oh, that's good. <laughs> <laughs> so have you been going to school at all in this year of pandemic? Um, I actually homeschool so I can learn whatever I want. Basically, for like the past few weeks, I wanted to try to learn a little bit about cooking. Oh, cooking. Why did you get interested in cooking? Um, I like making stuff. <laughs> or do My you like eating? <laughs> uh, what I like eating? Uh, mostly all the food that is, tastes and look interesting. And so with your cooking, what have you been learning to cook? Um, the first thing that I cook is mini pizza bread. <laughs> oh, that sounds delicious. Okay, I think we need to stop talking about food because yes, okay. I'm getting very hungry <laughs> okay, right now. Okay, okay. So, so let's go back to this. Is your brother homeschooled as well as you? Are both of you homeschooled together? Yes. Wow, that must be kind of cool. So you can learn anything you want to learn. Yeah. Okay. And right now my brother's learning about gaming because he likes gaming. I see. I see. Okay. So um, a little birdie tells me that you're super, super proud of being a cleft baby. Mm -hmm. Is that right? Yes. Yeah. So can you tell us all what kind of cleft you have? I have a bilateral cleft lips and palate oh, okay nice. and what does that mean um it mean i have two two side on the lip have a hole mm -hmm. okay I, yeah as you can see in my mouth you can see the line mm -hmm. is two mm -hmm. yes okay okay cool so with your kind of um, bilateral cleft, can you tell us how old you were when you realized you were different and unique and special? Uh, actually, my mommy told me, and that was around when I was nine years old. Okay. So until nine years old, you didn't, you didn't have any idea that you were a cleft baby? No. Okay. I just thought I was a regular kid. Well, you are a you regular, are a regular kid. kid. Yeah, you're an awesome regular kid. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay. So, what was the discovery like for you? Like when you find out, found out? Um, I was like surprised because I thought that my lip was the same as other regular kids, as other kids. Mm -hmm. And when you realized that perhaps it was slightly different, how did that? sort of make you feel what were you thinking then that i'm slightly different from other kids mm -hmm. um oh, it doesn't make me think anything this anything different yes i know that i'm unique in different ways absolutely so how does mom and dad um react to you understanding and loving how different you are um, react to me like a regular kid. Give me a lot of love and home and shelter and food as regular kids have. Do you get punished like regular kids as well when you're <laughs> yeah. a naughty girl? <laughs> Not that much, but <laughs> my mom did always give did always give me a lot of talks mm -hmm. to like make me understand why and how things are stuff. So yeah, I mostly listen to them. So she sounds like she's doing an okay parenting job. Like how would you rate her out of 10? Like oh, on God. a scale of one to 10, is she, is she an, a good mom? Is she above five or is she average? Or is she an 11? <laughs> uh, 
I should say my parents are the best parents. Good oh, job. Cool. So, Adriana, if you don't mind, I'd like to ask you a few questions about your cleft journey as a cleft baby. So, do you know how old you were when you had your first surgery? Uh, my mommy told me that it's when I was four months old, when I was still an infant. Wow. Okay. And you don't remember it at all, obviously, right? Uh, that time, you know, as be, you know, as kids, they can't remember as babies. Mm -hmm. Even as an adult at my age, I can't remember either. So <laughs> <laughs> I can't remember what happened yesterday. Yes. So um, yeah, now you're ten years old. How many surgeries have you had so far? Um, I got three surgeries. Two is for my lips mm -hmm. and my cleft palate. Mm -hmm. Well, one of them is for pulling out my tooth. I also forgot to mention that I was born with one tooth when I was a class. Born with one tooth. Wow, that's amazing. Yeah. You really are special to be born with one tooth because normally babies are born with no with teeth. No teeth, yeah. 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 That shows how advanced you are. Do you, rem do you remember, because the four, when you were four months old, obviously you don't remember that surgery. What, which surgery do you remember? Um, uh, first, actually, I don't remember any of my surgery. That's good. That's actually very, very good. You know. So I'm curious, Adriana. One of the problems that a lot of um, clef kids have is, you know, having to do speech therapy to learn to speak again or speak clearer again, and yet you speak so beautifully and you've got such a beautiful voice and i love how you're actually pronouncing your stuff and communicating did you have speech therapy uh my mommy tried one speech therapy once mm -hmm. around when i was two because mm -hmm. i didn't just i didn't speak to my parent that much but mm -hmm. one but my mom but then after that once like i speak like a, like a phrase in a car, mm -hmm. inside a car, my car, my... I hope your mom was driving. Yeah, of course, <laughs> my mom was driving. <laughs> my parent was having a conversation that time, and I and the sentence that I say is, ish, 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 tapatot. <laughs> and my parent was surprised about that. Oh my god! Wait, gosh. so before that, you, you didn't say much, and then that was the first I thing I guess like... I just like drag my parent and then show what I want. Right. That's so funny. That I mean, most, really... most children, you know, it's like one word they kind of learn. And yet you have this whole sentence that you come out with. That's brilliant. Ish, ish, ish. <laughs> were, they, were they fighting? Is that why you said ish, ish, ish? <laughs> uh, no, more than I don't know what conversation <laughs> they have. But, some, but my mommy said that I always be at the middle of the right moment and the right time. Yes. That's brilliant. So, sweetie, you didn't have any speech therapy at all? Uh, my, mommy, my mommy decided that I should learn English because when I was speaking in Malay when I was little, mm -hmm. when I was supposed to say kasut in Malay, I see like, uh, okay, I can't remember, but something funny mm -hmm. i think i would oh. right, right. <laughs> yeah so since mommy know that the english have like syllable and she just one syllable so my mommy let me watch english cartoon which made me learn english i think that's fantastic so you learn english and Speaking, I suppose your speech therapy was through cartoons, was it? Yeah. Wow, right. that's fantastic. If, yeah. if you knew another cleft um, baby who was learning to speak, would you tell the, that baby's mom to let them watch cartoons as well as part of their speech therapy? Yes. Yes, I think that's a good plan. Wait, but the question is, what cartoon exactly were you watching? Um... I remember I watched Doc McStuffin, Dora oh, the nice. Explorer. Mm -hmm. Oh, yes. Um, and Disney cartoons. Right. So fantastic. I love yeah. your different 
voices of cartoons as well. And Dora too. She was awesome. Yeah. Okay, Adriana, everybody finds different things hard. What I find hard, you could find easy, mm. right? And what you find hard, I could find easy. So what was the most difficult thing for you, um, do you think, sort of going through the surgeries that, okay, you can't remember now, but sort of growing up? Uh, the most difficult thing is not having my my mommy around to support me because as I know that when I was little, mm -hmm. whenever my mommy put aside me for just at least one second, I would cry in the sleep <laughs> to get her come back. Right. But of course I understand her since I was an infant that she needs to do like sola, you know, like regular Malays do. <laughs> and also go to the toilet. Yes. So mommy always <laughs> tell me something directly of mm -hmm. how many minutes and, and what she's going to do. Mm -hmm. Yes, I used to have a problem with my son when he was little and I needed to go to the bathroom or have a shower and I'd have to explain to him um, not to be upset because I just was smelly and I needed a shower. <laughs> <laughs> so, so you obviously homeschool, but do you hang out with a, a lot of kids, um, other kids doing homeschooling as well or is it just you and your brother? Um, just me and my brother, but I do know that Sometimes we have many different ways to communicate through WhatsApp. Ah, okay. So, Adrena, some kids who may look different have a lot of problems with other kids who are kind of mean to them because, you know, they think they look different. Have you ever had experience of that? Uh, yes. Mostly it's because of they think that my attitude seems, I don't know, I don't know. I never, I never seen to their eyes, but I do know that once when I was a kindergartner, a two girls don't really like me. Mm -hmm. I don't know why, but I just, but I, but the way I handle it is just to make friends or just ignore them. That's a very mature attitude, I know, right? young lady. That's yeah. brilliant. I think a lot of adult big people could take a leaf out of your book and learn to do that. So tell me, have you met any other kids who are cleft babies as well? Um, yes, I did. One of them was one of the bullies that I say they don't oh. like my baby. But at the end, he became my friend. He's a classmate and he's a Chinese. Okay. A Christian, more like Christian. <laughs> okay, so you've got a Chinese boy who's at kindergarten who was also a cleft baby. No, not kindergarten, in primary school. Oh, right, primary right, okay. school, right, okay. And he was the bully, um, he was mean to you, and then now you're good friends, are you? Yeah. Why was he mean to you in the first place? Uh, I don't know, because of how I play and say it. Right. It's because you're a confident lady, that's why, isn't it? Maybe. Yeah, I think so. Okay, what was it like meeting another cleft baby? Because maybe up to a certain point, you hadn't met any other children who, who had the same sort of um, difference as you. So what was it like meeting somebody who kind of had the same difference as you? Uh, it doesn't seem any different. Just barely meeting another kid my age. Okay, that's good. So... What would you say to somebody then? Say there was a younger kid, maybe around four or five, who was just learning that they were also cleft to understand that they were a little bit different and maybe they had another surgery that they had to go to and this was all new to them. What advice would you tell that little kid? Um, I would tell them to... Never be sad and think positive and be grateful of how you look and what you have. Because more kids out there are different. Some have gender issue. That's true. That's absolutely true. So how do you stay positive then? Because, you know, we can't be positive all the time, right? So what do you do to stay positive, especially when you're having a gloomy day? Um... I will always think this is something related to religion. 
Mm -hmm. I will always think through Allah and always think positive. That was that is what my mommy always told me. Mm -hmm. Do you have a favorite phrase or saying when you're having a really gloomy day um, that always picks you up and makes you feel better, even if it's a funny one? Um, all I know that is to never give up. I like that That's very brilliant. much. Yeah. Okay. So that's the advice you'd give another um, baby with, you know, a cleft or a little child with, with cleft. But what advice would you give to the parents of a cleft baby or, or cleft kid? Maybe the parents are very concerned. They're very worried. Or maybe they're not doing as good a job as your mom and yeah. dad. So what would you say to them? Um, I would say that... Um, an advice to the parents, may always make sure that whenever you're feeding your kids who are cleft, never ever point the food or the drink upward to the broken palate. Because as my mommy say to me that if we have a broken palate, the water or the substance can go through your nose. Yes. Okay. That's really good advice. And they have to learn how to do that, right? Yeah. Okay. So always point it at the throat. Mm -hmm. Point it at the throat. Mm -hmm. And what other advice would you give to them? Like, what would you like them to know um, about raising a confident and optimistic cleft baby? Mm, an advice for raising an optimistic and cleft baby? Well, here's an advice to always make sure they think positive all the way, all the way until the end. That's very good advice. How are you 11, dear? You she's, are so no, grown up. She's not up. even 11. She's 10. You're 10. <laughs> you are so grown up. I, I, I feel so honored to meet you. Oh, my God. You're, you're brilliant. You're amazing, kiddo. You really are amazing. Um, is there anything else you'd like to say about being a cleft baby? Mm, being a cleft baby doesn't mean that you're different or ashamed of yourself. It's meaning that there is a part of you which is even unique. It's yes. unique and interesting because... Um, as other people have other issues, some people have like a few hundreds or mm -hmm. 1,000 people that is less like them. Yes. And sometimes people have sort of um, things that make them different that are invisible as well. And, and, and we're all different in our own way, yeah. right? Yeah. Yeah. Now, dear, are you, you don't remember any of your surgeries, right? But yes. do you have any other surgeries that you need to go for? Did mommy tell you anything that you um, have to be prepared for? Well, I'm not sure, but for since all my checkup with all my doctors, mm -hmm. maybe going to be one more surgery ahead. One what, more. What's that for? Um, I think for my teeth. Mm -hmm. And how do you feel about that upcoming surgery? I'm a little nervous, but I did do a go for it to go. <laughs> <laughs> That's so awesome. Now, listen, sweetheart, um, a little birdie, another little birdie told me that you were on a TV show mm. and you had to fool the host about something. Can you tell us what happened there? Uh, that time is when I was, I think, like around eight or seven or nine, mm -hmm. because I barely remember. But that was a TV show about. Okay, it is a TV show, so yeah, something happened, which I actually don't know what, but I can tell you that I was dressed like Wonder Woman. Oh, awesome! Um, and I, and he gave me a few questions, and then mm. there was a guessing question. Mm. Okay. 
which I don't really chain out it right. I get uh, like a few guesses, like mm -hmm. a shovel or a shield. That's for right. random guesses. Mm -hmm. Um and did you scold the host? Mm, no, <laughs> I don't really scold the host. What happened? Something happened that you're not telling us yet. Uh, that's all I remember <laughs> that's, from that day. That's perfectly fine. That's perfectly fine. So listen, what's your? Because because obviously we're radio. We want to know what your favorite song is at the moment. What are you listening? Um, to? right now. Oh, uh, what's my favorite song? What's the song that cheers you up, and makes you feel all happy? My my favorite song is something which is spirited, like a miraculous ladybug song or Ultraman and Galaxy Fighter song. Anything motivated? Fantastic! You, you love cartoons, don't you? My goodness! Yeah. Are you into superheroes as well? Yes. And if you were a superhero, what would be your superpower? Mm, what would be my superpower? Mm, I think... Well, <laughs> technically, I don't know, but I think I want to be like one of those skillful superheroes. One with no power, but has very high tech and have very... Um, popular skills that is really that you That's... just want to be yourself but invent stuff that's awesome what would be your superhero name uh i actually don't know you know i'm gonna give one to you you're gonna be known as confident girl <laughs> i don't think that's a good superhero name <laughs> but nice try anyway <laughs> Okay, Grandpa, <laughs> put your ideas away. Oh, my God. <laughs> well, sweetie, we'll, we'll keep thinking of a new uh, name for you. And if you come up with one, do, uh, do let us know, okay? Mm -hmm. Thanks so much for speaking to us, sweetheart. You're amazing, and you've just kind of inspired me today. I love how you think. You're welcome. Thank, thank you for making us all better people. Yeah.